All right, so this video, this is another one where you're just going to kind of watch, uh, really no action required other than taking notes, things like that. But you just got this simple part done. This is the one where we built the tool library, or we've got our two tools there. So this video, we're going to do our setup. We're going to, you know, kind of get in depth about what a setup is, all that sort of stuff. And in short, a setup is going to be where your origin is, your part orientation, <clears throat> your stock size. It, it's, it's a lot of things that are done incorrectly on your setup page and they'll trip you up in the end. So getting your setup right is very, very important. So to do your setup, all right, so again, I'm over here in design, all right, over here, gonna to jump to manufacture. I'm gonna right click on setup and I'm gonna do new setup. Now, mine says setup two, yours is gonna say setup one, because this is the second time I'm doing this on this part. Obviously, I run through the stuff before I do it in the video just to make sure I don't uh, come across any hiccups or anything. Now, um, basically, we're going to work from the top down and from the left to the right. So, in your setup, for your machine, we don't need to do anything on this one at this level. No, if we are working with dual spindle lathes and live tooling lathes and things where you've got to worry about clearance and stuff like that, then yes, you do need to specify your machine. Um, but for just simple introduction to, um, you know, fusion CAD cam turning, we don't need to get into all of that. So for my operation type, it's asking, is it milling, turning or mill turn, cutting or added? So we are doing turning or mill turn all right, your spindle, it's asking, is it going to be a primary spindle or a secondary spindle? Uh, you're going to be, you know, right now, keeping it simple, we're going to be working with a primary spindle. Now, my orientation. So my orientation is correct right now, but I want you to just assume that when I open it up, this is what it looked like, okay? Now, the first thing we need to do is get our Z in the correct location and orientation. All right, now X isn't a huge deal on this because it's a strictly 2D lathe part. We don't have any sort of, you know, holes that we're using live tooling heads, cutting, any of that sort of stuff. So this is pretty simple. So, oh, and uh, one, one more thing, yours is gonna probably default to your safe Z at like, um, I think it's six millimeters. So it's like 196 thousandths or something like that, maybe five millimeter, whatever it is. But the again, the first thing we're gonna do is get our uh, Z in the correct location. So for my Z, I'm just gonna say, select Z and X, right? So my Z, I'm gonna click that front face there, okay? Now, what that does, and, and of course, all this is heads up. I mean, you can, it's, it's real time feedback. You can see exactly what's going on. And sometimes you can just kind of click around, click around, click around till you, till you get what you need, all right? And I, I hate to put it that way, but sometimes that's, that's what you have to do. Just, to, just don't get frustrated with it, all right? So, if, let's say that I want it on the back of my part, then you can always just click this arrow. So you see how this is highlighting the, the front of the arrow? You can just click that and, and it shifts it around, okay? Now, this is exactly what we want right here. Front of the part, easy peasy. So if we were working on the back side first, obviously we would want the part like that, but we're going to be working on it this way. 
So all of this is good now. So my safe Z, that's going to be, you know, do you want it from your front stock, your stock back, whatever. It's almost always going to be stock front. And, and here's a little trick. Let's say that I wanted to be ultra careful and I wanted all my tools to retract back one inch. Well, you can right click this and you can save that as a user default. So you remember earlier, you know, whatever, two, three minutes ago when I said that yours was going to default to like six centimeters or six millimeters or five millimeters or whatever it was. Um, I have went in and changed my default to be a hundred thousand. So what I just did was change my default to one inch. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that back. Just again, I just want y'all to know what's out there. Okay. All right. So all oh, that's good. Now my model, sometimes you're going to have an assembly that you're working on. You're going to have, you know, two or three different parts together. You're going to, you're going to draw your part in a fixture. You're going to draw your part in a, in a chuck. You're going to draw it in various ways. This is where you can click your part and say, this is what I'm working on. Cause keep in mind, the software is dumb. It doesn't know if you want to cut your chuck. It doesn't know if you want to cut your fixture. You have to tell it the part that you're working on. All right. So this spun profile, this is for parts that have like flats and, and different features cut around the perimeter of it. So if you look at this image down here, and I know you can't see it, but I'm, I'm pointing down here in the right hand corner of my screen where if I've got spun profile off, then what it's going to do is it's going to take the smallest diameter that it sees. So where those flats are, it's going to take that smallest diameter or smallest size, whatever. And it's going to turn the diameter to that. Well, if you rotated that part, let's say 45 degrees, that diameter grows because again, imagine that you've got a, a part with a flat milled in it. So this is really for, for more advanced parts. Uh, it doesn't hurt to turn it on, but it's not needed for this one. Okay. Now for my chuck reference, it's asking, you know, roughly where, or not roughly, it's asking where's the front of your chuck going to be. So let's say that we're going to have it one inch back. Okay. So it does not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's one inch back. In other words, you know, the chuck face is going to be right here. We're going to have an extra inch hanging out. Okay. All that should make a little better sense. Now your stock. You can do all these different styles to get your stock size. So you can say my part is, you know, 50 thousandths bigger I'm sorry, my stock is 50,000 bigger than my part. So you see how it grew? Okay. Me personally, I like doing um, thick sized because you know what size your stock is. And I'm going to say that this is, again, let's just say four and a half inch. Let's say that the stock is seven inches long. But notice something here. So, it's trying to put my origin on the front of the part and it's also going to try to cut a boatload of material off here. So let's fix these two things. And this is another big, big problem that I see people making is when you set your origin, you don't, and when I say set your origin, when you set G54Z on the lathe, you do not set it to the stock you set it to your part, all right? So right now I've got it set on stock. So if you look at origin, 
I'm going to change this to model front. So you see what it did? So it, it put my origin actually on my part, not my stop. So make sure that you're differentiating the difference, or differentiating those two things. Part and stop are not the same thing. Make sure that you understand that. Okay, so got that fixed. I'm going to go over here. Now, obviously, I want all my extra material back here. I don't want to face off an inch off in front of my part. That's, that's crazy. So I'm going to go offset from front. And I'm just going to go like an extra 25 thousandths or something. Right to where now. See, I've got 25 thou there. Let me, let me grow that just so you can see it. Okay. And that's just to have something to clean. So, all that should make a little more sense now. And then post-process, this is where you're going to put the name of your program, whatever, whatever you want to put there. And then I'm just going to say for this... Large step shaft, op one. And this, this is asking, do you want to use G54, G55, G56, G57, whatever. All right, and in most cases, you're going to use G54. Um, so you can either set that as zero or one. Um, and to be completely honest with you, I haven't twisted this around and tried to beat this one up. So I'm not 100% sure that it needs to be one. Um, normally, if you leave it on zero, it'll default to G54, but I'm pretty sure G54 is going to be one, and G55 is gonna be two, G56 is gonna be three, so on and so forth, okay? And then, okay, no Z rotary axis selected, all right? So let's go back into that setup. Oh, so I need to select what's going to be rotating and all you have to do here is click something cylindrical Hang on. yep and that's that. so now got our setup you can see our stock there now one more thing you can slow double click here and change the name and that's your setup so this here is my setup you can come back and edit it you can do whatever you need to do but I will encourage you guys to really take the time and label this stuff as you're doing it so Again, I created a setup. Take the 10 seconds that it takes to name it because it'll make your life a lot easier moving down the line. Okay, so um, to, to recap, we did a new setup. And I'll tell you what, let's, uh, let's burn through this one more time. We're gonna go new setup. Again, show setup three. I'm gonna be turning or mill turn. It selected that for me already. Perfect. Everything looks good so far. Oh, that looks good. My stock. We're going to say that this is four and a half inch, seven inches long. All right, and again, you see that? Let's jump back over here, change that to model front. Offset from front, 25,000 to where now. Got a little extra stock up front. Let's process, change this to whatever you want. And okay. change that to one. Here. Okay, and 
in whatever sort of notes you want to put in there. Now's your time to do it. Okay? So, there's uh, creating a setup. And then, of course, save, save, save.